I actually might like it a little more than the original Layton. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this King Fragrances Royal Essence, their version of Layton, the classic Layton now. King Fragrances is a pretty interesting house. They have their own little punch that they put into certain fragrances and I just reviewed the, their like Aventus clone, which I actually really appreciated the little touch they put in there. I felt like it made it a little bit more dirty, a little bit more sexy. So I do like that they're not just making the same clone, they're kind of like having their own way to give it a unique vibe and a good way i always appreciate something like that let's jump into the notes of the original Layton. the notes are apple lavender mandarin orange bergamot geranium violet jasmine vanilla cardamom sandalwood pepper patchouli and gayak wood Layton to me is just kind of like this really niche um, fragrance that kind of bounces between a designer and a niche at the same time. Very, very likable, kind of sexy, but also like not too sexy at the same time. You'd only want, it's not like something you'd only want to wear for a date. You could wear it every day. The pros of this fragrance is that it has that sweet, good Layton vibe and it pulls it off very, very good. Layton to me is, is sexy, it's sweet, but then it's also very, very versatile. Like, you know, a lot of really sexy, sweet fragrances, they almost start to smell feminine or they start to smell like you're trying to really garner a sexy compliment almost putting yourself to out there this one has a lot of that sexiness to it but then it also is kind of a little bit classic this is probably a little bit better in the cool weather similar to Layton. not too much of a hot weather fragrance but again it's very versatile it's just something that everybody's gonna like and like I said there's very few fragrances that pull off this very sexy vibe without putting yourself too far out there and this one definitely pulls it off balances between designer and niche very similar to Layton. I really really do enjoy it. All right, guys, let's jump into the mixed aspects of this fragrance. The mixed is that extra King's Fragrances punch to this fragrance. Now, like I just said, they could do a little extra here to give it that King Fragrances punch. And initially, I was going to say that I liked the, the way that they did it with Aventus more. I actually feel like it kind of accentuates parts of Aventus and makes it a little bit more sexy, a little bit more dirty. And initially, on first smell, I was like, eh, like Layton is, has like a clean, delicious vanilla vibe. And for a second, I was like, that extra dirty sexy cologne vibe i don't know if it fits too much for layton but i was just trying to spray something up to get a fragrance to smell i think it was alexandria fragrances layton clone which is also very good I've, i really liked an aspect of this once i smelled the alexandria so i'm like wow so that little extra dirty cologne vibe i actually might like it a little more than the original layton but i have to do more testing and that's why it's in the mix initially i would have said it was a con but now I'm kind of coming around to it and it actually might end up being a pro. All right, guys, jump into the cons of this fragrance. To be honest, I don't really have too many. Um, it's not a direct clone of Layton. So if you're somebody who really wants a performance to Marley Layton and you want a dead on 100% clone, I don't know about going for this one. But like I said, I, I really, really enjoy it. And I actually might like the things that they changed up. And then the projection here was above average. And I remember um, Layton kind of being above average, tipping into strong. I felt like uh, Layton has a little bit more of a, an EDT style vibe where it jumps a little farther away from my memory personally. This kind of stayed a little bit close, but it had a bubble for a long, long time. So again, it's hard for me to even put that in the cons. I really almost don't have any cons to be honest with you. If I were to give it a smell rating, I'd probably give it like an 8.5. It smells really, really good. And I like that they took a little bit of risk. Uh, likeability it's going to be a nine it's just really really likable but it's also robust and a little bit classic at the same time so i just think likeability is definitely a nine on this one um, longevity and projection i'm gonna have to give it a 7.5 to an eight well above average and very very good very enjoyable i didn't write up some situations for this but it's very very similar to layton with the, just an added little tint of it's a little bit more like a cologne. It's a little bit more dirty. It's a little bit more sexy, but it's very, very similar to Layton. So okay for the gym, not the best thing. Um, pretty solid for a date, not the best thing I would take, but um, I could see this being a very, very good date fragrance. I think this is just an everyday fragrance when you live in a little bit of a cooler environment. I've had people at like uh, places say that they had people come in, try to buy a Ventus, and then they put them on to Layton. And I could see why, because it actually is really, really, really good. And I do like the little nuances that they put here. Really enjoying King fragrances. And I actually do like the little extra dirty touch that they put on these fragrances. So let me know what you think of King fragrances. Let me know what you think of Royal Essence. What do you think of Parfums Tamari Layton? Do you 
you like it? What do you think of King Fragrances? Do you like them? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.